Just for the next 10 minutes, can you try not make any loud clunky sounds? Hi guys, welcome back. For today's video I'm going to be showing you a graduation makeup look and give you a few tips. I graduated from uni I think four years ago now, I can't really remember, I think it was about four years ago. And I think now is the sort of graduating season, in, the timing might be a bit off for this video because everyone graduates at different times, especially in the UK. I think some people do it in July but mine was like October and some were February the next year, so who knows, it's around this sort of time I think. Graduation was fun, but it was so far after we'd finished uni, it was kind of just really nice to see everyone, but I was kind of, I think I had a job already by then, and I was a bit over the graduating thing, but it's definitely a really nice day that you are definitely going to remember, so it's nice to have your makeup done nicely for the day, and you want to look back at photos and think, yeah, I was happy with my makeup that day. I wore a Topshop white kind of floaty dress, I'll insert some photos of my graduation here somewhere, I got told off for not wearing a proper college shirt because my gown didn't pin onto it properly, but I didn't really want to wear a shirt, I wanted to wear a nice dress. I had my hair straight and down because you have to wear a hat so definitely don't do an updo because you will get there and have to take it down so I had my hair down a lot of my friends had nice curls in their hair and that looked really pretty and I can't remember what was on my nails probably something blue I was very into blue today I have Essie Maximilian Strauss hair I think it's called which is a really nice kind of grey green that would actually be probably quite nice for graduation so this would be my graduation nail recommendation so now I'm going to talk you through the makeup look I'm wearing now and give you some tips along the way so graduation is a very long day there's lots of sitting around and waiting I guess it depends how big your uni is but mine took forever and we were on first my friends so we had to wait the whole time for everyone else to go so I definitely recommend using a primer because it will make your makeup last a lot longer the one I used at my graduation is the Laura Mercier foundations primer in radiance so this is just a really nice kind of water-based primer it feels really nice on the skin and it also gives like a nice glowy radiance to the skin which is a nice kind of added benefit as well. So I just put a small amount of that all over the skin. And then for foundation I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I wear the shade 4.5. This is a good foundation pick because you're going to be taking a lot of photos, well probably take a lot of photos during the day. And this has no SPF in it so if you're going to get the professional photos where they use a big flash you won't get that sort of pale ghost face in all the photos. I didn't actually pay for the proper photos. I remember saying like I could just take them myself which I did. They were so expensive. Such a cheapskate. But anyway, this is a really nice foundation. I'm just putting a small amount on this. I don't want to kind of cake on too much foundation. And I'm using my Sephora brush just to buff it all into the skin. And it leaves a really nice kind of natural finish, but it's good coverage as well. I want to brighten up my under eye area so it looks nice and fresh and I look awake in all the photos. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer. And this comes in a pen, a bit like the YSL one, but it's much better coverage. doesn't have a funky smell. I really like this. I have the shade 2, Fair. took me a while to figure out the right shade, but 2 is definitely my shade. And I just apply this under the eye and blend it in with a brush and it blends in beautifully and doesn't crease up throughout the day and just adds really nice light under the eye. Then for the rest of my face I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I use shade 5. This is amazing because it's waterproof, it's really long lasting and it's got really good coverage so it's good for long days and for photos. So I'm just using this on my chin, around my nose, on my nose. And I also use a tiny bit of this under my eyes. Now everyone says not to use this under the eyes. Even the Makeup Forever makeup artist said to me, no way, don't use it under your eyes. But I kind of like it. I don't, I'm a bit of like a makeup rebel apparently. But I think a tiny amount just here where you get really dark circles, it's fine. It doesn't get dry on me. It looks fine. So I think if you want to, you can. I'm actually running really low of this. That is terrifying. To set all of my foundation and concealer in place, I want to use a powder as well. This will look really good in photos and again will make your makeup last throughout the day. The powder I'm going to be using is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Plus and using the small Charlotte Tilbury brush just to get under my eyes, on my forehead, around my nose, on my chin, all the areas where my makeup starts to disappear first. This powder is sort of invisible, it's not translucent but you can hardly see it on the skin, it just really complements the foundation and concealer. Now before I start the rest of my makeup I want to use an eye primer. I like to put it on now before I do my bronzer and blusher and stuff so it gives it time to set on my eyes before I do my eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just a really good one that everyone seems to like and it does the job. My tip would be to not put too much of that on though because I think if you put too much on it actually makes your eyeshadow crease which defeats the whole purpose. Before I continue, one of my tips would be to wear makeup that you usually wear. 
don't use this time to experiment new looks. Just do the makeup that suits you because you don't want to look back at photos and think, oh gosh, that purple eyeshadow was a big mistake. I'd also say don't do anything too kind of trendy because it will really show the time that your graduation was. And when you look back at photos, you'll be like, oh, that was so 2014. So although this might not be the most exciting makeup tutorial, it is going to be a very kind of natural, easy to wear look because that's something that I wear a lot. If you always wear a bright red lip, then wear a bright red lip. Just do what suits you. I always look really pale in photos, so I'm going to be bronzing up my face using the Soap and Glory Solar Powder, which I always talk about. It's my favourite bronzer. I'm going to use both shades, just swirl my brush around in the pan and use it all over my face at first just to add a little bit of bronze to my skin. And then I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury brush and just use the matte shade to contour a little bit. I think contouring looks really nice in photos. I just do a little bit of my cheekbones and it kind of adds a bit of definition to the face. Now this is the blush that I actually wore at my graduation because I was obsessed with Benefit Coralista throughout the whole of uni. The smell actually really reminds me of uni. Oh, I love the smell. So I'm going to use a little bit of this on my cheeks. It's a really nice peachy corally blush. Um, it's so pretty. I absolutely love this and I just think it really makes you look very awake and fresh. Okay, so now onto my brows and I do this after the bronzer, otherwise my bronzer brush gets all in my eyebrows and it ruins it. I didn't actually do my brows at my graduation because I only started doing my eyebrows about a year ago, but I'm going to use the Hourglass Brow Arch Pencil. I love this. I just use it to fill in the small parts I need. I'm not doing anything over the top, no huge bold brows because I don't want my graduation photos to look silly. And then I'm going to set it with the blink clear brow gel. I can't really remember which highlighter I used at my graduation. I definitely used one because I was really into highlighters at uni. But for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Kiko Radiant Touch Creamy Stick Highlighter in shade 100. And this is so nice. It's a cream highlighter. So I just use my fingers and apply it to the tops of my cheekbones, slightly down my nose, on my cupid's bow and under my brow and it adds a really natural highlight and because it's cream it just kind of blends in with your skin and looks really pretty. I think wearing a highlight is nice because in all the photos you'll look really kind of fresh and glowy. Okay now onto the eyes and as I said wear a look that suits you and for me that's a brown kind of neutral eye. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon in Amber Haze. These are amazing. I have three different shades. They are basically just eye crayons, but the formula is so nice and so long lasting. She's made loads of different shades to suit different eye colours, so if you find it hard to know what makeup suits you, she said like Amber Haze is for brown eyes and then there's another one for green eyes and all the different eye colours. So this is really nice, I just kind of apply a little bit to the eyelid and blend out with a brush, but you can also use your fingers. I didn't put too much on because I just want kind of a sheer wash of colour, but you can build this up if you want more. I personally wouldn't want to wear too much of a heavy look for graduation, so this is just a nice wash of brown. You can just use a nice dark brown eyeliner for this look but I do that quite a lot and at the moment I'm loving black liquid liner so I thought I would do that look instead. I'm actually going to be using the Tom Ford liner that I spoke about before. It's so expensive and the Soap and Glory one is just as good so use that if you want a drugstore alternative but this is the one I'm loving at the moment. It's called the Eye Defining Pen and it's got two ends, one slightly smaller and one slightly longer. And I just find this so easy to use. I can't really show the cutaway of me applying it that well because I have to put my face right up close to a mirror. But when I apply black liquid liner, I basically just follow the lash line all the way around and then I just slightly flick out the end. It's really just trial and error to see what suits your eye shape. I've just kept trying, messing up, trying, messing up, until I got it and now I just kind of know the shape that suits my eye. You might want to pick a waterproof mascara for your graduation day. I don't know, you might get a bit teary for many reasons. Maybe you're sad to be leaving your friends or your parents are crying because they're so proud and it makes you cry. I don't know, I didn't cry at my graduation, but a waterproof mascara is probably a good idea. I'm going to use the Max Factor Full Slash Effect Mascara, which is nice and gives nice volume. Not my favourite ever mascara, but it does the job. Okay, now moving on to lips, and I wouldn't recommend a bold lip unless you're wearing a really long-lasting formula like the Sephora Lip Cream, because graduations are really long and you see, you're sitting in this kind of big hall for ages and I don't remember seeing people kind of like reapplying their lipstick, you don't really have time to do that so unless you've got a really long lasting formula I'd go for something more neutral that if it does rub off it's not the end of the world. That's why I wanted to do kind of nicer eyes because the lips aren't that interesting. I'm going to be using MAC Shanghai Spice which is kind of a new one for me, I've got it like this year and it's a really nice soft peach and it's a bit different to the sort of nudes I usually wear but I think it's really pretty and I've just kind of been pressing that into the lips 
reapplying, pressing it in, dabbing it with my fingers because I think that makes it last a little bit longer. Then you don't have to add a gloss, but I actually wore this lip gloss at my graduation. It's MAC Boy Bait, so I thought I'd put it on for old time's sake. But a very similar dupe for that is Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in Afternoon Tea. It's just a really soft kind of pinky nude. So that's my graduation makeup look done. So here's a little summary of my tips. Don't wear a foundation with SPF in it if you're going to have flash photography. Wear a look that just looks normal to you and that's something you wear all the time. I wouldn't go for a bold lip unless it's a really long lasting formula because you just won't be able to reapply it. Make sure your nails look pretty because when you're holding your little graduation thing in photos you're going to want to have nice nails. And don't do anything too on trend in your makeup, it's a bit like passport photos, you don't want them to look old in five years time. So hopefully that helped you a bit and congratulations to any of you guys who are graduating this year. The next year is going to be very hard but very exciting for you and although uni is so much fun, I think it gets even more fun once you leave. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of this kind of natural but I think quite pretty makeup look. I'll see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching, bye!